Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 572, Find a Grave, Linked Grave Not Matching Profile. This index lists beginning times of each segment, so you can fast forward to any of particular interest. First, a word about the Wikitree Find a Grave template. In its basic form, it is a pair of curly brackets, Find a Grave text, vertical bar, the memorial number, and a closed pair of curly brackets. That means the memorial belongs to the Wikitree profile. Any significant difference between the profile and the memorial will generate a suggestion. There are two other versions. Between the memorial number and the closed brackets, add another vertical bar and type same as equal yes. This means the memorial belongs to the Wikitree profile, regardless of the name and dates in the data section. Differences will generate various suggestions. The third version is the same, except it has same as equal no. This means the memorial does not belong to the profile member, and any differences will not generate a suggestion. Suggestion 572 is triggered when the most likely memorial referenced on the profile does not match the profile closely enough. It has several causes, such as when the wrong memorial has been added to the profile. Be sure it doesn't belong to a relative before removing it. The name or dates don't match the memorial, even though the memorial belongs to the profiled person. The memorial is for a relative, or the Wikitree profile has more than one link to find a grave memorials. Here is the suggestion report for George Thomas Elmore, showing one suggestion, 572. As you can see, the name, birth, and death columns do not agree. Here is the public view of George's profile. The Sources section shows a Find a Grave memorial listing George Beard, not George Elmore. Check the biography for any reason the incorrect memorial is linked before deleting it. It might belong to a relative. However, in this case, there is no explanation for George Beard's memorial, so we need to find the correct one for George Elmore. On the right, click the Root Search link. Root Search offers several sites to choose from. Let's start with Find a Grave. Find a Grave has one listing for George Elmore. Click on his name. The memorial clearly identifies him as the man of this profile, with names and dates matching exactly. Go to the bottom of the memorial and click Source Citation. Copy the text that appears. Return to George's profile and click on Edit. In the Biography section, paste over the incorrect Find a Grave link with this one. Add the Wikitree template and delete the first URL in the citation. Click on Preview to check your work. Make sure that the inline citations are properly showing in the biography and sources sections. Go to the middle of the profile page and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the Suggestions report and on the far right click on Status. On the Suggestion Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one, in this case, corrected. Leave a comment from the comment tents or make one of your own. 
click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done. Here is the suggestion report for Margaret Thompson, showing 572. The date of birth and of death match. However, the name is different. Here is the public view of Margaret's profile. As you can see, her current last name hasn't been changed to her married name of Payne, though her husband is listed. Confirm that her current last name is Payne by looking at the sourced death record. Also, double check the Find Grave Memorial to ensure it is indeed a match. Since Payne is correct, click on Edit. In the Data section, change her current last name to Payne. Below that, as before, explain your changes. Save your work. Return to the Suggestion Report and click Status. On the Suggestion Status Report, select a status, leave a comment, and click Update Status. As a note, if you can't find documentation to change the name on the profile, but you are sure the memorial is correctly linked, add Same As equals Yes to the Find a Grave template. Here is the suggestion report for Submit Dickinson, showing 572. None of the information matches, but the memorial could be that of a relative. Here is the public view of Submit's profile. It states that the memorial is for her son, John. Click on Edit. Change the memorial ID to the Wikitree template, adding same as equal no. Delete the first URL. Preview your work. As required for data doctors, explain your changes. Click on status on the suggestion report. As before, select a status, leave a comment, and click Update Status. When you see the Status History box, you know you're done. This is a Suggestion Status Report showing several memorials on one profile. None of them belong to the profiled person. The first step is to look for the person's memorial, and if found, add it to the profile. A good place to start is with a relative's memorial, which often has family in the family members section. In our example, click on the memorial link of David Chadwell. We are taken to his Find a Grave page, which gives a link to his father John's memorial. That should be added to his Wikitree profile. Otherwise, if the profiled person's memorial can't be found, the suggestion would be corrected, as we just did for one relative, except all Find a Grave links for the relatives would be marked same as equal no. You are invited to like this video and even leave a comment if you wish. Also, keep up to date with new videos by subscribing to our Wikitree YouTube channel. On behalf of the Data Doctors Project, thank you for watching.